hell is that noise? Ah! Oh, Frank! Holy crap! Oh my god! I wasn't prepared! What the f- Jesus Christ! What's going on guys? Stray here and welcome back to the open ocean of Raft. Today I am really excited because we have the first major update in Raft that we're going to be checking out. And uh, I gotta say, it's nice to be back. It's been a long time since we last played this game. Probably close to half a year. Uh, but Jerry and Larry, as you can see, are still totally fine. We're gonna have to get them some food sooner or later because they are starting to eat a lot of that. But yeah, it's good to be back out. Now... With this new update, I haven't really looked at what it's all about. I know there's two new locations, and I know our radio tower thing uh, should have something new with it that we're going to check out in a second. I just want to make sure everything's good. Goat Lord is doing great, as you can see, eating up all the grass and whatnot. So, yeah, we'll make sure we water their grass later. Right now, I want to see... What's going on? Oh my god, I, I forget where everything is. It's been a long time, guys, but yeah, we got this over here. So, this is new. Switch number... Um, okay, let's just press- whoa, okay. Well, first of all, turn it on. Oh, battery's empty. No! Okay, I know I have more batteries, but did I leave that on accidentally? Okay, but now we got a fresh, juicy boy. Let's get that guy in there, and we're gonna turn this on. What the hell? New note added. The hell even are notes? Now, I don't want to waste my battery, so I'm gonna turn that off. What the hell is a note? Am, am I supposed to remember what that is? It's not this thing, is it? Oh! I found it! What the hell? Okay, that took me way too long to admit, but, uh, yeah. Look, check out this. Look at that little handy-dandy book. I don't remember this, but it's been a while, so it could have been here. It's looking like this is totally new, though. Your raft is your home. Your hook is your friend. Others have come before. More will come after. Be sure to mark the way. The world is gone, but the stories remain. Gather as many as you can. And for Pete's sake, watch out for sharks. And that must be your family? Okay, so is that it? That didn't really explain much. Okay, so we still got to figure out what this whole system is, but before that, I'm gonna go, uh, cook some more food, because we're gonna need some food today, so I've been cooking up some delicious mackerel. Definitely getting low on food in the game, though. We, we had no problem for food for a while, and now we're starting to run out, as you can see, so I'm gonna do some fishing today. Uh, hopefully we can catch some Bruce and whatnot, and eat him as well, because that would be great. So it looks like 1099 is the only one. Oh, was that 1262 there before? No, it wasn't. Okay, so there's 1256 that goes on the map. So there's multiple things we can ID now. Uh, so I'm wondering, does that change anything? Oh, I'm, I'm dumb. Okay, so you can actually, like, pinpoint the digit. Uh, so obviously it looks like it's that only one digit here. Possibly we can find something else. I think I just got lucky and found it right away, which is why I was so confused at what the hell this was doing. So 1099, and we got this blue thing popping up that direction. So we're going to start heading that way. Whoa! Whoa, no! My t oh, you bastard. <laughs> of course, my luck. I have a... Oh, damn it. How do I... Just... I don't want to keep it in. All right, there we go. I have a full inventory, so I lost the fish I caught. The irony. Okay, and I don't know if you can see it. Yes, when I turn my head for some reason, that is, I think, one of the new... Well, I think this is one of the new areas. It looks like it's one of the um, oil rigs or whatever those things were on the water, though. We're 254 away. And yeah, that's gotta be it, so... It does look like an oil rig. It's gotta be a little bit different, though. Okay, so we're going to land and explore this. I thought we'd be, uh, hitting an island here, but I'm totally fine with this. Let me just make sure... So yeah, it shows... Blue, I think, is a point of interest, obviously. I remember the old ones being green, so yeah, this has gotta be it. Regardless, we're going to explore it anyways, and... I don't know what kind of secrets it's gonna have, but it's kind of exciting. Okay, and here we are. I guess we can stop this thing now. And, uh, yeah, it looks a lot like the old radio towers that we visited, but... Maybe there's something new here. Drop anchor. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done this, I don't know where to look. There we go. Okay, so, of course, storms have come. But look at this. This is why I love my, uh, my ship. It's right here. We can look out, make sure Bruce isn't around. Well, I think all we gotta do is just jump up there, so we should be totally fine. Let's go. Oh, crap. That's a lot higher than I expected, but I can jump in the water. Bruce, you... What? Okay, I, either it's Finding Nemo, or it's a reference to me always calling it Bruce. You bastard, I got you. Oh my god, please tell me. That's a med... <laughs> I was just talking about Bruce, and that pops up. Oh, I wonder. That That's crazy to me. Okay, so obviously this is new, though, and that could be 
some of the lore that we got going on. So there's supposed to be more lore now. Like, like I said, this is chapter one technically now. So I think we're going to get more into the storyline, which is exciting. And yeah, these weren't that detailed before. Like, we didn't have the numbers, so I wonder if there's going to be any indication with those. Okay, looks like we can parkour up here. I don't want to go all the way up just yet, because uh, there's still a lot more we can explore down here. There's a phone. Can I use it? Nope. Okay, this is so much more detailed. I knew they uh, added more detail to the old places as well, so this is exciting to see. I guess we'll pick up the plastic. All right, I'm pretty sure I did all the bottom. So now I guess we can explore upwards. Wow, this thing is really well designed too. Um, oh, we even got, I didn't even notice the land over here, but we might be able to get some ore because I need more ore to make more bolts. Pick up crate. Ooh, we got hinges, vine goo, all the good stuff. Um, okay, how do I get over here? Caught a shark, named him Bruce. <laughs> oh, that is great. Seriously, how do I get across though? Dude, this place is huge. I feel like I'm definitely gonna lose something. Took boat, won't be back. Man, there was a lot of people here at one time. That or is a, a guy's tagging like crazy. All right, that's just plastic. Trace. Okay, so there's more notes. Okay, so I really gotta look around here, make sure I get all the notes. Cause I think that's probably gonna unlock whatever is new in this game. Um, like even these papers here, I feel like I'm gonna miss something. I don't remember it being anywhere near this big, so this is obviously a totally new one. Can I climb these? Please tell me. Oh, I can't climb them? I gotta be able to climb up, man. I mean, there's gotta, there's more. There's more. How do I get up there? Whoa, easy now. It's wavy out. Now, can I get on my roof? Oh, yeah, I can. Skills to pay the bills now. We gotta, we gotta, wait, we have to time this right. Wait for the motion of the ocean. And go. Yeah! Okay. This is obviously how we get over here, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe you're not supposed to get over there. I'm trying it, though. And yes, indeed, we did. That was a weird noise. Okay. Well, this is exciting. And this was obviously a really hard part of the level to get to. Is there anything here? That's the question. I, I didn't think about it, but there could be new bird monsters. Like, we know there's that giant bird that eats us. I'm a little worried being up here now. Oh, my God. I have a serious fear of heights, too. So this is just grand. Holy crap. So my, my boat is giant. We are really high in the sky. I can't see a damn thing out there. Oh, but here we go. Utopia. All right, pick up another note. So we got lots of notes. Um... Supply? It looks like that says supply to Utopia. It's not really giving me much in terms of a map, though. What else? Oh, man, more notes. We got so many notes to read when we're done here. Can I use any of this stuff? We've seen this technology before, but I've never been able to use anything that isn't on my boat, and it looks like that's the same right now. I really thought I could pick up that, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, great. I didn't even almost miss that. Um, I think that's everything? Well, let's actually check the... Oh, let's check the roof for sure. It doesn't look like I can climb up this. And it doesn't look like there's anything up there anyways besides the giant satellite towers. Okay. Well, it's getting dark. I don't really want to be up here in pitch black. So let's get back down and check out these notes. And I'm going to do one quick check before we leave just to make sure we got everything. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's another awful day on the water here. Now, it's still a little dark out, but I should... Oh, man. I really can't read that at all. All right, I, I, I gotta wait for the sunlight. I guess I'll just explore a little bit more. All right, so we got the new radio tower. People number 720. Um, I wish I knew where we were, that we had some place we could point to, except that radio tower is out of, in the distance. 12, 16, and 8 failed today after three days of testing. 16's core burned so hard, hard and fast, it ate right through the wet well. Its payload sank to the ocean, hot enough to burn for 100 years. Is going on here they left us behind on the reactor testing platform then blew the foundations the water's been rising slowly owl thinks we should go after them I wish I didn't agree with him so it sounds like the backstory is we had a re reactor blowout uh, and that's kind of what happened to the world and why it's all underwater man there's a lot of lore here though so this one mentions the fact that there's a boat I'm wondering Maybe that has something to do with the new items. What's this trace? Not 8th of Jan distress call received trace 9th of Jan establish rapport uh, language unknown Malay Get Targon man. There's a lot of lore here, and it doesn't really explain much at all calm dead gunshots in the distance uh, Someone speaking Malay too fast to make out so this is obviously me listening to something 
Head for Balboa. It's still above water. Okay, so maybe Balboa is where we need to go. That's all I have right now. I have these pages. I wonder if I missed something, though, because it feels like maybe something's supposed to be on this page. So we're going to double check this place, obviously. And how are we doing for food and everything? Looks like everything's more or less okay. All right, so let's get exploring down below. I should have looked for Bruce first, but hey. Oh, God, he's right there. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, he's faster. He's faster. That's for damn sure. That or I'm a lot slower. I don't know which one. Okay, I think I hit him before you hit me, though, because I'm not damaged at all. All right, get, get wrecked, scrub. Make that a zero. Next number, please. And a big old seven. Yes! Okay, so now I know exactly how this thing works. I get it now. Uh, I guess let's go to the other location. I Like I said, I think we got everything here, so we need to go that direction. Which, is that upstream? Uh, oh, thank God, the wind's going that way now. Okay, we, 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 we got lucky. We can go, we can go to it. Oh, looks like Bruce had a great time here while I was gone, you bastard. As per usual, gonna have to do some repairs and whatnot, but let's get out to the ocean. Hopefully we get a little bit of a calmer day. It's been a, a giant storm for the last two days now. All right, let me just make sure I'm going the right direction. Yeah, we gotta go, like, way that way, though, so I'm gonna bend this a little bit more in that direction. Actually, it's pretty much almost directly in the wind, which is nice, so actually... Being that we're going to be fighting the wind a bit, I'm going to keep it pretty much exactly where it was. <gasps> Ooh, blueprint. Headlight. Can be learned in research table. Where did I get that? Okay, well, we got a headlight. That's exciting. I haven't used the research table in forever. It's a good thing I noticed that. Um, so how do I use this? Just, oh, learn it. Perfect. Oh, I didn't even notice these. We got headlights as well. Oh, that's a sprinkler. That's new as well. And that would make my life way easier because I'm spending so much time watering these damn crops. Okay, so these are all learned. Um, where's the headlight? Okay, maybe I'm supposed to research the battery? Oh, that's right. God, it's been so long. Okay, I don't want to waste that one if I don't need to. So can we use this? Yes, we can. Okay, I forgot I had to place an item in there. God, it's been a long time, like I said. So we can get a healing thing now with eggs? Problem is, my, my little jerks haven't been popping out eggs anymore. They must have changed it. It was too easy to survive with all the uh, bird nests. So I don't even think I get eggs anymore. What's up, Goat Lord? How you doing, man? And craft that sprinkler. Water your crops automatically. Seems to be missing a battery, though. Damn it! I need another battery? God, they're really m making you use copper now. I should have read that before I built this thing. But the problem with up here is the rain does actually fill these crops. But being that the uh, being open also makes these guys die... I put a roof on, and these things don't automatically get filled, so that's why I wanted to get this thing. Because uh, I'm spending a lot of my time up here just dealing with these little jerks. Okay, what the frig? How does this work? All right, we'll just put it there, and I, I hope that worked. Requires water. Oh, wow, I actually got to bring water? Okay, well, this is exciting. Okay, so I think this thing should just work. I don't know. I, it didn't really explain much. So it has battery. It's got water. I really hope this just does a, a proximity around it. Because if not, this thing's not really going in the, in the right direction. Oh! Oh, God, it scared me. Okay. Did it... Did it water? Needs fresh water. Okay, so it watered that one. Is it really only water, like, one right in front of it? I wonder if that's all they need, though. As long as this thing's automatically filling this up, I think they might only need one plot. And that would make sense. And then obviously Goat Lord over here, I I can deal with. He's not as bad. Freaking Jerry and Larry are eating that, that full thing every day. Whereas Mr. Goat Lord doesn't seem to be that hungry. He'll only eat maybe twice in a day. Okay, and there she be. What is that on there? It looks like there's like a pyramid or something. Can you see that? What the hell? Okay, this is much more exciting to me because it's an actual island. We have made it to what I assume is the other... What was that other one called? The the Vascalan. Um, I think I mentioned in the lore something about that too. But yeah, clearly we made it safe and sound. And now we just got to make our way there. What the hell is that though? Oh, this is obviously a very big place. I think that's a freaking giant yacht. It's, it's not an island at all. It's just a giant ship. Okay. Well, I'm excited. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just get ready to drop our anchor. I'm so confused, though. Is there two ships there? That's definitely a ship. You can see, like, a railing over on this side. And, yeah, I mean, that's just a giant ship. 
Well, that gets me excited because ships have engines. Maybe, just maybe, we can get away from the wind power. I really hope there's something like that. Why are we not seeming to go forward at all? All right, I do have to fight the wind a little bit, but I thought we'd be going at least somewhat fast, unless the ground's already uh, so shallow here. Definitely doesn't look like it. Just slow and steady. Rafts aren't very fast. All right, well, that's as good as we're going to get it. Let's drop ship here and go check this place out. So, drop the anchor. Um, Before I do that, do I have any food with me? Yes, I do. Okay, so we should be all right. Well, I'm excited. I thought we'd have an ordinary island. That is not the case at all. Can I climb this? Oh, God, that might have been a, been a bad idea. All right, how do I get in here? I don't think there's going to be much loot on these rocks here, but clearly we had a little bit of a shipwreck. Do you think I could climb that? Yes, I can! All right. Oh my God, it's got a helicopter pad on it. This makes my ship look bad. Okay, is there any island? There's a little bit of island we can explore. I don't think there's going to be much there. I'm more interested by the giant yacht. Okay, we got some plastics. That's not very interesting. Looks like we can go up to the roof. Can I open this? <gasps> door locked from the inside. Okay. It's the first door I could actually try and open, though. There's got to be something here. We got a giant pool in the back. Oh. Well, that was easy. We, we, we could have just went to the back door. Okay, then. First of all, we have a freaking pool. Uh, what is that? Mechanical part? Wait, what? We've never had a mechanical part before. What the hell is that noise? Ah! Oh! Frick! Holy crap! Oh my god! I wasn't prepared! What the f- Jesus Christ! Get out of here, you evil rat bastard! Hold the pickup. Why do I want to pick it up? I don't know, but that- Jesus Christ! I didn't expect a horror game. I'm so glad I have this this light right now. Requires one bolt cutter. What? Where do we get bolt cutters? There's so many new things. Oh, oh God! Don't do that. Screw off with your nice music right now. I want to actually listen for the evil rat bastards that are around here. Okay, please bolt cutter. Any, any anywhere? I just need a bolt cutter. No. Okay. Good thing I I noticed that cassette player. We finally found one of the notes. So many plastics here. Jesus. How the hell do you bend a plate? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, God, I went quiet again. Oh, God, I'm so scared. Why is the music so peaceful? There is so much scrap in here. This is amazing. I found the scrap mother load. Requires five mechanical parts. Oh, my God. I found, like, a workshop. We got the bolt cutter. Okay, good. At least we can see what's in there. I'm thinking we got to actively come back here, though. We got another mechanical part, so that's two, right? Please be a blue key in here. Oh, well, there it is. Called it. I got a note as well. Okay, so the blue key we now have access to. Oh, stairs. Okay. It's very dark. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is turning into a horror game. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Can we get out? Okay. Ah! No, not again, not again, not again. Oh, no. Come on. I'm not very good at fighting, clearly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. That, that's why there's a door in my way. Oh, no, no, no. I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, thank God. That was not a good fight on, on, on my part. Jesus. Okay, let's just eat a little bit. Raw meat. We definitely don't want to eat raw meat. But, oh, my God. I'm actually almost out of water, so we're going to get out of here soon. And, again, I don't really want to stay here anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. Upstairs. I didn't... Ah, no! No! Get him. Get him. Get him. Jump on me. Come on, bro. Bring it on. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at aiming. It's very hard to aim this thing, to be fair. There we go. Okay, thank God that one went a lot better than the last one, because I didn't have the health to deal with that if I... No! What? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm learning its mechanics. You just got to keep rotating, it looks like. <sighs> okay, there was two here. There's another one. There's a freaking another one. Requires one key card. There is so much to this. It is ridiculous. I can't even keep up with how much I need to remember. Um. Okay, so we need a key card for that door. There's got to be something up these stairs then. Because that rat was guarding something. Requires car jack. What the freak? I need a car jack to move that? Oh my god. I wonder if that's what we're making with the mechanical parts that we've been collecting. Oh, you bastard. You respawn? Wow, they really don't want you to survive here, do they? 
<gasps> Four digit code! Okay, I needed that for the safe, which is downstairs. And oh my god! I think I just got the mechanical part as well. Things are turning around. I spent a long time looking for all that stuff. I'm just picking up all this stuff so it doesn't highlight on the map. All right, well, screw you then. All right, there we go. We got it. Uh, but yeah, we got the four digit code. Now, that's probably for the safe, which is down on the next floor. So we're going to head back down there. All right, and here's the safe, so we should... Yes. Oh, my God! You bastard! What the hell? Was that supposed to happen? Jesus, way to scare the hell out of me. Okay, let's focus on fighting. Because I clearly can't aim when I'm freaking out. Jesus. I'm going to run out of weapons here. I'm going to have to make more weapons. Okay, what is this? Electrical wires. Note and note. Okay, we needed the electrical wires for the thing downstairs as well. So I think we got the vast majority of the stuff. I have been reading the notes, by the way. I'll, I'll, I'll read more of them later. Right now, I think I got all the mechanical stuff. So let's get out there and see if we can build this thing. Also, we should probably eat. Yummy. Okay, please tell me we have everything. Because this has been a journey, to say the least. Okay, do I have everything? I got the bomb! Okay, what does this do then? Oh, that's the car jack, which we needed to move something upstairs a little bit. Okay, so we... Oh my god, I got everything. I'm so excited right now. I want to see what's behind this bomb door, but I also want to see what the car jack's all about. Ah! God, you just respawned already? You ass. Okay, so I'm at the car jack place. Let's see what's... <laughs> Of all things, a car jack. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it works. So there we go. And can we take that for later? I'd like to keep that, possibly. All right, so this is... Wait. Okay, no, this is just a bathroom. I was like, is there another access point to this? But no. Oh, my God. The mother load of all bolts. All right, well, that's exciting. That's a lot of really good materials that we're go probably going to need. Um, Is that it? Was this just like a loot zone? I mean, I'm totally fine with that. But I thought there'd be more in here than just that, considering all the items that we had to get to get that damn car jack. All right, well, time for the moment of truth. We're gonna blow this sucker up. Should I back up? I should probably back up. Okay, we're gonna go down. Just in case. Jesus, that, that shook it up a little bit. Okay. Bootleg fireworks. Just got an achievement. Well, that's exciting. Okay, is there no creepy stuff in here? All right, we got scrap. More food. That's always great. I, I like that there's food everywhere now. Steering wheel? Oh, yes. Engine? Okay, I dig it. We got more notes as well, so we'll check out those notes later. Man, we got lots of stuff in here. Okay, I think it's safe to say we made it. We got to the end. And, uh, holy crap, was that ever an event to get there? Okay, so I'm not seeing anything else over here. But, yeah, clearly, I'm, my assumption was correct. We can build a steering wheel now and an engine. So we did it! We got all the way to the top. That was not easy, and now we're in a damn storm, of course. Where the hell's my ship? All right, well, immediately, I'm gonna go check out what we need to build these things. I don't think it's gonna be easy. It's an engine, after all, but, I mean, I have been wrong before. Okay, so open it up. Dude, we can learn it right away. Oh my god, I got literally everything. Perfect. Okay, what the hell do I need for this? Yeah, sailing, obviously. Steering wheel, we need... Hey! I might actually be able to afford this. Uh, I have rope in here. I guess I'll just make some more of it. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> God damn it. I lost my... At least it wasn't the good stuff, I don't think. But I lost... I hate Bruce so much. I lost so much stuff there. I think I lost all my plastics is what I did lose. Well, good thing we got a bunch here. Because we're going to need a little bit of it. Okay, so we got the steering wheel. What are we going to need for the engine? Uh, circuit board and planks. That's all I need. I got everything else. So I just need to basically make a circuit board. I think we're actually going to be able to make this today. Okay. Oh, my God. I did it, guys. I got the engine and everything. All right. So what the... Oh, my God. This thing's huge. Um, am I even going to be able to put it? In here? How does this work? I think what I'm gonna do is maybe just expand out the back a little bit and put it there. It's not like I have much of a choice. Problem is, we don't have, like, any planks right now, so I'm gonna... I think I'm going to go back to the ocean a little bit, collect a little bit, because I need some planks to do this. <laughs> okay, how does this... If we rotate it... There we go. That should work, right? Yes! Okay, there we go. 
Oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay, so change direction, place plank. So it's steam powered, obviously, which is exciting. I was worried I'd have to get gas now. And basically, we have forward and reverse gears. And we can go whatever way we want. So, is it actually on? Do I have to turn it on? Activate engine. Okay. Oh my god. That is unbelievably cool. So now when we just put it down a steering wheel, we can just drive this thing. So, I'm going to keep my mass here because having wind power is going to be useful in case we run out of scrap or anything. But for right now, obviously, close those things up. And where the hell am I going to put my wheel? Should I put it on the roof? Okay, so just temporary. I don't know if I'm going to make stairs all the way up here or not, but it's going to take forever to do that. I'm going to... Oh, am I really not going to be able to put it there because there's a damn gate there? Oh, hey, actually, I'm actually okay with that. And then I can just... Yeah, perfect. Okay, it's not pretty, but it works. So that's all that matters right now. I just wanted to get to the top easily. Okay, so now... If we put this bad boy down, obviously in the right direction, hopefully. Is this in the middle? I think that's as close to the middle as we're going to get. Alright, so you actually... Oh, it shows the top. Okay, so you don't actually hold it. You just rotate it while hitting R. And then, obviously, the top piece is going straight. Very easy to tell. I like that. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, let's try this thing. So let's power it up. We already... Actually, we, ha we haven't turned off uh, wind power. But now it is time to activate the engine. And I'm kind of curious how long this thing is going to last. It doesn't look like it's going to be a speedboat, that's for sure. But I wonder if we make multiple if it goes faster. We've tested that with the with the um, sails before, which it didn't work, unfortunately. So I doubt it will work. But God damn it, we got an engine in raft. This feels almost wrong. So let me just... Oh my God, look at how quick it can rotate. And oh, it's so fast. You can see, just judging by the things moving in the water, this is pretty damn fast. What's best about this, though, is the fact that I can just rotate it like crazy. And this is going to make exploring the ocean so much easier. All right. Well, there it is. Working in its hardest right now. How much have we lost? So, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to last very long. But thankfully, we just use planks. And we're going to get lots of planks as we explore. So, I'm going to turn this thing off. And uh, that has been probably the biggest episode of Raft I've ever done. I think that was the major new thing, which is the engine, obviously, which is very, very important. And yeah, we went to both new places. At least I think that's the new place. But I have heard of another creature that we didn't see. So I'm thinking maybe there is one more island we can explore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Raft. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this game. And do you want to see some more of it? Now that we have the engine, and I think we can explore a hell of a lot more, it might be fun to just go around and see what we can find. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one. That was Raft Chapter 1. And uh, i got to say, I'm excited for the future of this game. It's looking really good, and it's nice to see a major update here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.